So the next historical character is Julie of 1974. So she is the most recent historically, but as we have said before, we're going in the order American Girl released them. Let's start off with what we all know is truly the best part about Julie, which is her beautiful song and dance. She can do ooh, ooh, anything she wants to hop to with light uh, Body and then take flight Everything is sunny and extra bright Fights for equal rise Reaches for higher highs She's sugar and she's fine Like a bird, yeah, she's amazing And she can change the world if she wants to She's gonna do what she's gonna do What she's gonna do What she's gonna do, do So yeah, that is definitely a defining quality of Julie and probably will take up 99% of our consideration of our score that we give her. Now this was Be Forever Julie, which now would probably be a good time to mention again that we are taking Julie's Be Forever collection into her total score later. Anybody who is Be Forever, like, and was a historical, they're be Forever collection is going to come into another episode. So this is just Julie as a historical character and yeah be but so still that song just defines her. So basically what we're saying is like if you have a Be Forever and a historical we're treating you like they're two different dolls. Yes but so. in the end their scores are going to kind of just combine uh, into that character. So anyways that's definitely the most important part of that video, of course. But let's talk about her name, Julie Albright. It's not the worst name. I like the name Julie. It's not the worst, but it's definitely not the best. I, I don't know. I don't eh. I'll give it a six and a half. Now, her appearance, and this is something that was kind of irked me for, like, however long I've been collecting American Girls, because, like, she is objectively pretty. However, I do not- I'm not a fan of her look. I, on the other hand, um, I think she's one of the few dolls that have, like, a pale Josefina mold, is, like, not Hispanic and has the Josefina mold and still, like, pulls it off. I, think I it's, disagree. I think it's just her and Elizabeth and that's it. No, I disagree. The Jose I definitely think- I just don't like the Josefina mold with blonde hair personally i'm not saying she's ugly it's just my personal preference yeah so basically i understand that a lot of people think she's pretty my personal score five four i'd say and five. a half yeah four and a half is probably fair now we have julie's collection starting with her meat outfit this is her historical meat outfit and i think this is a lot more historically accurate and just overall better than her Be Forever, but we'll get into that later. Her Be Forever definitely got more into the groovy kind of look. When this very, is... that, her Be Forever one looks like a costume exactly. from the 70s. This looks realistic. And that's what I like about the historical Julie collection. But overall, I definitely like this one better. And I think it's a cute meat outfit. It's definitely historically accurate. And, and the accessories are... Okay. Now to Julie's school collection. Now, Julie's school collection was unique among the historical characters with school collections. Rather than focusing on schoolroom aspect of education, Julie's focus was on basketball. So her school collection initially centered on basketball. So let's get into that. So the first thing was her hoops outfit and accessory for $32. Cute. I like that it's not pink. Yeah, I would not pay $32. Um, Definitely, though, if you like basketball and you're getting Julie, and like you want her because she's a basketball player this is a cute basketball uniform sure not $32 though then we have her school bleachers for $75 uh -uh. I feel like this is something like I literally have a sports like craft that's... kit from American Girl and I can make this for free just out of cardboard that's absolutely ridiculous I, I think could... that's really overpriced but I like the idea but like I could make this for like free out of a cardboard box and paint your doll's butts better be golden if you're paying that much exactly money exactly then we have julie's school lunchbox for 28 dollars. Ooh, she's a cool kid she her mommy puts cupcakes in her lunch honestly though like hostess cupcakes those are good what the heck is that orange blob i think it's like potato chips okay well those don't look like potato chips american girl hashtag make your potato chips potato -y. And then I think that's like a water thing? No, it's like a soup can. Oh, I thought it was thing. like a hydro flask or something. Oh, Julie's a visco girl? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
But yeah, um, this is cute. I mean, I, I like it better than some of the other lunch pails because some of the other ones were kind of just stupid. But it's nice. Then we have Julie's school lockers for 175 and these are made of solid metal. All right, okay, listen. The biggest thing about me and like America Girl pieces is if it's more than what I would pay for a doll, I really have to scrutinize it and see if it's worth it. This is something that's definitely not worth it. And I have like made lockers before. I know people who have made lockers before. I know American Girl sold individual lockers for a lot cheaper than this. Like, this would is you rather get Julie and Ivy than Julie and the locker I don't know it's almost $200 which to me seems a little ridiculous especially about the fact that it is only two lockers so then we have Julie's holiday collection so we have Julie's Christmas outfit for $32 this is such an iconic Julie piece in her collection I absolutely love this I think it's super adorable yeah she looks really good in it too then we have Julie's Christmas gift for $5 <laughs> At least it's five dollars. Like that's a great price. Like that doesn't sound right. I'm gonna check that. <laughs> okay, so we just double checked. It is five dollars, which is just shocking that American Girl ever sold something for that cheap. Um, and I like job. the idea of it. It's like the Barbie heads, which are really weird but like trendy. Yeah, like I like how they're pulling into like the Barbie world. I like how like if Amy only got like Julie, then like her mommy could be like, okay, honey, you can pick out one more thing. I really like this Barbie head, and it's only five dollars so that way amy walks home with two things but little does she know it was only five dollars exactly yeah it's cool that they have like a modern kind of toy like how a later like 80s doll could possibly have an american girl doll but we're not going to get into that because that's a really weird like time circle thing i don't even that's meta yeah that's odd an bro. american girl has an american girl doll then we have julie's birthday collection starting with julie's birthday dress for 28 dollars another iconic julie collection piece now i'm not a huge fan of this dress personally to me it reminds me of like Josefina but um yeah I it, it is 70s but for some reason I'm getting really like strong Josefina vibes but I think it's cute so there's that then we have Julie's pet bunny nutmeg for $24 Aww. this is definitely an iconic piece to Julie's collection again don't like, call a human being animal a piece this is definitely an iconic part of Julie's collection I like anyone I knew who had Julie personally always had the bunny it's like yeah you can't separate them now nutmeg does unfortunately fall into the category of dollar store animals that american girl sometimes has this is not kaya we're done with the hyper realistic animals however it's still very adorable and i would still purchase it and people would be like did you pay 25 cents i'd be like no i paid 30 dollars then we have Julie's birthday goodies for $58. Which Excuse it's me? It's another one of those, like, oh, we have dishes and oh, yeah, they're yeah. expensive. So like, that's a weird thing about historicals is sometimes they have, like, these weird, like, dishwares. Which, to me, makes more sense when you're in a time, like, I guess Samantha as an example because she had like right. fancy Victorian tea sets. But you can't. But this sell is a picnic basket. 70s. And also, okay, this is like, a grill, a picnic basket, and some like root beer. So this is definitely like geared towards collectors, I think, because like a lot of them were made of actual glass, which you don't want to give a child. It's Bottom fun line. to run. It's fun to play. It's, it's fun, fun to make things out of clay. It's fun to fill your car with gas. gas. It's fun to break things, things made of glass. glass. But for a collector, it's still expensive. Then we have Julie's summer collection, starting with Julie's two-in-one summer outfit for 36 And the jacket and shorts were removed in 2012, and then it was just sold as Julie's swim set for $32. Ugh, rude. I hate when American Girl does that. You're so greedy. Go sit in the naughty corner, American Girl. Go! Go! Quit staring at me. Go sit in the corner! Anyways... When it was like this, it was great and quite the good deal. Then we have Julie's roller skates for $18. I love the socks. The socks are pretty groovy, man. I could make this. She though. could work at Sonic. Yes. Julie could work at Sonic. That would be her first job. Her and Ivy's summer job. Oh my god. Forget about the e saving the Eagles car wash. We're working at Sonic. Next is Julie's winter collection, starting with Julie's casual outfit for $32. This is very 70s, um, and it's definitely a statement that she's making. <laughs> I don't know if I agree with that statement. I don't mind all 70s fashion. It's... It's certain areas. This is... 
No, it's a make or a break. Is, and this, this is a statement. She made a statement. Good for you. Good for you, Julie. You made a statement. Then we have Julie's cap and scarf for sixteen dollars. That would take me approximately four hours to knit up. Yep. But you know, sixteen dollars not that much if you don't want to put in the effort. However, it does look like you know how there's like a bunch of like knitted vest and stuff that your like grandma makes for your American girl. It kind of reminds me of that. Yes. Then we have Julie's dog walking set for $36. So this came with all seen here. I love the chihuahua. Oh my god. Wait, so this was the um, first version with the flock chihuahua, as you guys can see here. But then it was changed later to this version, which... um, Both work. I mean, it's a little less realistic, I feel like. But it matches the others better. I, you know what? These are darling. This is These beautiful. Are so good. And you get more dogs in oh one. Rather than buying just individual dogs, you get three. Forget about nutmeg. I want three puppies. Exactly. Fido, Fido, and Frollo. Exactly. Then we have Julie's bedtime collection, starting with Julie's pajamas for $24. Very iconic. Um, yeah, this, honestly, I like this. Okay, listen, it's the 70s, so I wasn't really expecting a nightgown. Would I have loved a nightgown? You betcha. Hashtag team nightgown. Hashtag American girl make more nightgowns. I think they pulled this off really well, though. It definitely looks like something a girl would wear in the 70s. Yeah, and it's, it's cute. It's cute, but it's not a nightgown. And I like the way they styled her hair in this. Yeah, we need more nightgowns. So then we have Julie's bed and bedding for $125. Julie's bed is definitely, like, out of all the American Girl beds in the world that have been made, definitely up there for most iconic and recognizable, in my opinion. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's just such a bed. A bed is, like, kind of an investment because it is the same price as a doll, basically. But, um... I feel like if you had Julie, if you liked the 70s, this could be, like, a nice piece in your dollhouse. Yep. Yep. The next thing is Julie's room accessories for $38. Um? This reminds me of something you would see on iCarly. Yeah, why is there a foot on the floor? Is Julie from iCarly? Julie moved in with Carly because she's actually Sam in disguise. And then she said, hey, Carly, I brought my foot rug with you, with me. Do you mind if I put it right in the middle of our floor? And Carly's like, I love that. Sam, who's actually Julie. Now let's, let's go, let's go, let's go film some. Random dancing. Some random dancing. And Freddy, who is actually Logan. <laughs> <laughs> Too far. We'll go five. Too four, far. Three. Two. Then we have Julie's sound accessories for $38. The tape reads, Story of My Life, referring to jur- jur- <laughs> to Julie's Shares Her Story book. So it, like, it plays something she said. Now we have Julie's extra items and outfits, starting with Julie's calico dress for $32. Okay, listen, I know Paige is going to hate this, but I like it. I like this one, too. It reminds me of something Phoebe from Friends would wear. Then we have Julie's floral jumpsuit for $28. This looks like That's So Raven. Then we have Julie's summer skirt set for $28. And it's iconic. That skirt is literally everywhere. I think this is one of her cuter outfits for sure. Yeah, I'd lose the headband personally. The headband is throwing me off. Or at least like put it on like a normal headband, you hippie. But like, you know. Then we have Julie's patchwork outfit for $32. That looks like a quilt. I can verify that. I just certify that that does look quilted. I would lose the headband. Yeah. She kind of looks like a preschooler. She kind of looks like she's going to the army. She looks like a preschooler who decided to go to the army. Exactly. And the commander-in-chief or whatever they call them are like, hey, you look a little young. <laughs> and she's like, no, I'm not young. I, I, I'm, I'm Julie. I'm, can, you, can you please hand me the gun now? I want to go fight into war. And the guy's like, okay, if you say so. 
Then we have Julie's dance set for $64. Later separated to Julie's funky flower outfit and disco accessories for $34. For $34 each. So they were two separate things. They were, there was Julie's funky flower outfit and then disco accessories, each $34. And then here they were $64 all together. So, but American yeah. Girl needs an accountant. <laughs> but yeah, this set's cute. It's cute. It's cute. Next. Then we have Julie's banana, banana seat, seat bike. bike. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Um, <laughs> this is $115. Which is the price of a doll. It's very cute. Buy it on Craigslist. Then we have Julie's fondue set for $68, which is another one of those, like, hey, we have glass kids. Yeah, and also, you know, it's kind of just a fact of life. The sky is blue, and the hippies love their fondue. Next, we have Julie's table and chairs for $85. Your doll's butts better be golden. Yeah. (laughs) It's cool, though. It's kind of, like groovy looking. It looks like, once again, it looks like the iCarly, but we're not going to get back into that. It also looks like Ikea furniture. It does. It's kind of modernized. It also looks like I could buy that for $85 in Ikea for a human. But it's okay. Then we have Julie's car wash set for $350. Oh, this is the big ticket item. So this has an era accurate license plate that reads SF Girl, and the car requires three AA batteries. Um, so yeah, it says SF girl because it's San Francisco girl, just if you're wondering. We live in California, and we know Oh, yeah, San so Fr- we live in California, so we know that San Francisco is SF. Yeah. Y'all don't know that. Y'all might not know that, but we're- You just we're, got educated. We're qualified. I'm qualified. Anyways, this is something I used to stare at in American Girl stores, and just be like, whoa, I wonder what it'd be like to be so filthy rich that I could throw $350 at a- plastic car for my doll exactly but so definitely can't it was not that filthy rich it's a very nice car though and listen listen i'm all for eagles and stuff but i just don't know if i'm gonna theme my car wash around saving the eagles maybe say it's for something else maybe what about like sick children like julie and ivy really need to think here like what's more important priorities man like Anyways, what I was going to say, oh yeah, so I always used to stare at this, wondered what it would be like to be filthy rich, and yeah, then I got over it because it's a plastic car, and those filthy rich kids who have this probably just sat it, like, in the corner of their room and just, like, occasionally honked it. Then we have Julie's hairstyling set for $24. So this was like a hairbrush, like a wire wig brush, but it was like attached to like another stick and you could like change it. Which is accurate for 70s hairstyling stuff. So if you want to be historically accurate while you brush your doll's hair, there you go. Nice. Good for you. Next. <clears throat> so that is all of I, I Julie's collection. Then we have her best friend, Ivy. L- listen, baby. I love Ivy. I love her more than Julie. Now, here's a little thing is that Julie, I mean, Ivy has the smallest collection of any best friend doll, so there's not much with her. So rude. But the look of her, she's just an adorable doll. She is so cute. I love her blunt bob, the blunt bangs. Her face mold is, like, absolutely adorable. She is so pretty. So stunning. She is so much prettier than Julie, it's not even funny. I'd give her, like, a nine and a half, and I'm not even kidding right now. But we're not scoring her. Okay, I'm not scoring her, but she gets a nine and a half. Then we have um, Ivy's meat outfit accessories, and this is like far superior to Julie's. The beret, the earrings, yeah. the I feel like I, and like I, her, the bag you can tell is made out of like the butt of like pants. Yeah, and I feel like the stinking beret is pretty iconic to Julie. So are the earrings. I mean, to Ivy. So are the earrings. Like, I couldn't imagine getting her and not getting this. Then we have Ivy's New Year's outfit for $28. This is if so cool. If that's, like, not the most iconic stinking dress ever, then I don't know so what cool. it is. It's so cool. It's gorgeous. I love it. And it's her. only $28, which, like, I feel like if this was for another doll, like, I don't even know. They just, like, um, she got lucky. Like, She's cute. Yeah, this is a nice dress for a good price. Ivy's rainbow romper. 
for $28. I actually really love this. This is super, super cute. Once again, another a piece that really is one of Julie's... Julie's lucky she has Ivy yeah. in this ranking because if she didn't... She'd be... She'd be... A zero. Exactly. So yeah, that is... um. All of Julie's collection. I find it pretty difficult to rank her collection because there are some really iconic pieces. There's some ones that, like, are stupid expensive. I would give her, like, an eight. So the next thing is Julie's story. So Julie Albright doesn't want to move, even just a few miles away. Moving means leaving her best friend, Ivy, and her pet rabbit, Nutmeg. Worst of all, it means leaving Dad, now that her parents are divorced. Then, Julie finds out that her new school has a basketball team, and life starts looking up, until the coach <laughs> says, no girls are allowed. When Julie decides to fight for her place on the team, some of the new classmates tease her, and now even Ivy won't talk to her. Will Julie ever feel at home in her new school and her new life? Nope. Julie is enjoying working on her school project, The Story of My Life. The <laughs> story of my, my life. life. I, I like the idea of just like a 10 year old writing an autobiography. <laughs> Until she comes. In, th in these four years that I can remember, <laughs> so much has happened. Shh. I pooped Shut my up. pants on the park. <laughs> Until she comes to the part about the worst thing that ever happened. <laughs> the accent. The poo-poo. The poo-poo. The poo-poo poop. The poo-poo parade. The poo-poo parade. No. The worst thing that ever happened, which would be her parents' divorce. And she doesn't want to tell her class about that. Julie tries to find a different worst thing to tell about. And after her big basketball game ends badly, she thinks maybe she found the solution to her problem. But as her parents and sister rally around her, Julie finds herself thinking about her family in a whole new and more hopeful way. Julie knows Christmas will be difficult this year. But when her sister Tracy refuses to go to Dad's house for Christmas, Julie feels as if her family is falling apart. Over the holidays, Julie finds comfort spending time with her best friend, Ivy Ling. The Lings are getting ready for Chinese New Year and helping with their preparations distracts Julie from her sadness about her own family. Then she learns that her whole family is invited to the Ling's New Year banquet. Julie tries to share Ivy's excitement, but her heart sinks with Mom, Dad, and Tracy there. How will they all get along? Julie and Ivy come across a baby owl in Golden Gate Park. Which, by the way, guys, it's so weird because, like, we've been to Golden Gate Park. Oh my god, we've been to Golden Gate Park! Like, we have taken pictures of our dolls there, so, like, that's We're a really... Qualified. That's a really cool thing about us and Julie. Like, we can really, like... Relate. Yeah, like... I can feel you, girl, like, on a spiritual level. Hashtag relatable. She's from California. She... Hashtag San Francisco girl. <laughs> SF girl. <laughs> and when Julie brings it to the rescue center, she meets a family of bald eagles. The eagles really need some <laughs> hair. The poor eagles have no hair. Maybe the hair. That's why bad. they're bald eagles. Okay, I'm sorry. These eagles need to be released back into the environment before they become habituated to living in captivity and can no longer survive in the wild. Through determination and good ideas, Julie and her class raise the money needed to build a tower so they can finally be released. We need to build a tower. <laughs> <laughs> Julie's birthday isn't about cake and ice cream. It's, it's about eagles. <laughs> it's about watching them finally get a chance at freedom. Celebrate the country's bicentennial, Julie joins her cousins on a pioneer-style wagon train, which is filled with adventures, challenges, and self-discovery. <laughs> Julie is in school detention for passing a note to Joy, a deaf student who has trouble understanding. <laughs> Good attention. She can hear herself. Just shut up. It's not my fault she wasn't listening. A deaf student who has trouble understanding what their teacher is saying. Indignant, Julie decides to run for student body president so she can make changes to the detention system. The other students are put off by Joy, her choice for vice president. And Julie worries that she'll have a little ch she'll have little chance of winning if she partners with someone who seems so different. With you know, them deaf people are like <laughs> a whole different species of human. Stop. <laughs> with persistence and creative campaigning, Julie wins the students over and wins the election without compromising her principles.
They talk about visiting Ghirardelli with Ivy very often in Fisher and Dora, <laughs> which we do. <laughs> Hashtags. That's not how the story ends. I just thought I'd add that note in there. It's set in San Francisco. Sorry, we're biased, y'all. We love the Bay. We love the babes. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we like all the scenery, and we're familiar with everything that's hip happening. Just like- Like, I'm- I stand where Julie has once stood. (laughs) Which is pretty remarkable. Another thing I like, I like that her parents are divorced. I mean, that's unusual for, uh, any American Girl character. I can't think of a single gaudy who has divorced parents. But it's the kind of thing American Girl should be doing. Yeah, like, a lot of people's parents are divorced. Our parents are divorced. It's normal. So, (laughs) yeah. That's cool. Um, I like that she's kind of an activist. That's really cool. Um, I like how fiery she is. She's a very strong character. I like her as a character. She's very, like, stubborn, fights for what's right, fights for what's right, that kind of thing. And I like that in a character. I think Julie's story is probably the strongest point of her entire existence. (laughs) Yeah, I mean... Besides Ivy, which, you know, I love Ivy, so... And Julie definitely has one of my favorite stories from the historical characters. Yeah. I would give her story a nine, honestly. This averages Julie's total score to a seven. I feel like this is fair just because, personally, I'm not a fan of her appearance, and I think some of of her name's just mediocre to me, and I think some of her collection is overpriced. However, I think that her story is really great. It's definitely one of the best historicals and better than average, but she's not perfect. So yeah, she's up there. And let's send you off with um, our jam. Bye! So ahead of a time.